Hey guys, RC here, back with episode 8 of Football Manager 20. We're with Union Berlin. So taking a look after we left off, uh, we did beat uh, Schimnitzer 4-3 in a shootout. Christoph Bach, Matthias Gallus, Benedict Stein with a goal, and Alexei Abzalov with the game winner in the 64th minute. Then we got drilled by Bachum. Uh They are second in the table. Gallus was sent off with a straight red in the 16th minute. Did not help the cause. And then we uh, fought Schalke to a 2-2 draw. Tom Hill and Bach with goals. Um, these two matches, I went with that, that two-back set we were talking about last episode uh, just to try them out. And uh, Bakum, I wasn't surprised by the outcome. The Schalke match, we went back to uh, to the four four two that we played last episode. Uh, the new the newer four four two, but played them well. We're back for Augsburg and Duisburg today. Taking a look at the competition, uh, Paderborn and Bakum have secured automatic promotion with a couple of games to go. Paderborn actually secured promotion with, I think, five games left to play. So they're uh, they're doing well. Uh, we have no shot at the playoff, uh, but uh, you know seventh position. We're only three points above mid table. Now we we're not going to finish any worse than ninth. I mean, look at the drop off between uh, Augsburg in ninth and Berliner in tenth. What's that? Sixteen points. That's insanity. So anyway. Um, Decent first season. I mean, you know, we, we were top of the table there for a long while. And then, uh, you know, we, we've dropped off. We found our place. And uh, I think that's that's kind of realistic. We were expected to be, a uh, you know, mid-table. And pre preseason, we were picked to finish 12th. So I think it's a good season for us. Let's get into the matches today, maybe. All right, we're at home. We are underdogs. It's hailing. Holy crap. Never realized that we were going to have to deal with that, right? Uh, Arturo is out due to uh, yellow card suspensions. Uh, so we're going to have, uh, let's see, this is Christoph Kodorowski. I didn't remember his first name. Poljak, Rubio, Stein, Royce, Bach, and Hill up top. Poljak still looking for his match fitness. I got a nose itch, man. It will not go away. Ugh. What else? Well, we need to win. That's what we need. We need to win. Just win, baby. Oh, hello. Norbert Roos, ninth goal of the season with a drilled-in header. Second minute. Gotta like that. Good job, fellas. Was it really expecting that? He got up over a pair of defenders there. We're going to give him some early praise. Okay, set piece. It's in there. Back post. Mm. All right, can we get another one here? Another corner? Uh, the keeper comes out on that one. Looks like we were going after it again. Pretty happy with that. All right, they are controlling the game. We've got possession. They've got shots. I don't, I don't know how I feel about that. I like having possession, but I don't like giving up shots. All right, highlight for their side. Beats our defender. Oh, drilled in. Looks like the hail stopped and we're just getting rain, unless that's just huge pieces of hail that are leaving meteor trails on the way down. All right, um, I am gonna, no, we're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep going. Let's tell them to tighten up. They're gonna be frustrated, of course. Come on, boys. Oh, and Hill has gone down with an injury, an arm injury. You're a striker, you don't need an arm. Uh, let's see. I guess we'll bring a uh, plume on for him. Manouche picks up an injury, a slight injury for their side. Look at the space. Oh my God. He just, who is that? Who is that? Vogler. Vogler. 
Not good. Not good. All right, let's go to the dressing room. Excellent effort so far. Let's take a look at this tactic a little more because we haven't really looked at it. It's another 442, but it's it's um it's an updated focus play, play out. The higher tempo, I think that's what the deal is. You know what? We're going to go back. I'm going to dial that back. Again, most of Knapp's tactics, uh, unfortunately, are geared for higher level clubs. Basically, you know, you need to be in the top four or six sides in the Premier League. Um, I've had success in using some of his tactics with slight adjustments if you're one of the top top-sided clubs in a league but he really doesn't cater to the uh, to the lower league anymore I've had success in past versions uh, of you know FM a football manager but FM 20 has been kind of unique where it's you know it, there's really a delineation between the the, the haves and have-nots of of you know the level that you're in 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 your in your league and whatnot. So he does have a guy. Uh, his 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 screen name is RDF, and uh, he does a lot of tweet tactics that uh, Nap includes. Oh, that was unlucky. Um, and they're geared a little to be a little more solid for. Uh, uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, for lower teams. Oh, no, come on. Turn the corner and make a shot. Brutal, brutal. Demand more. All right, that's good. Of course, our, our header goes to the other team. Their header goes right to their team. Oh, nice, nice split ball there. Ah. All right, we'll up it a little bit. I, I want to say adjusting that tempo to me just, you know, helps get rid of some of the... some of the issues uh, with with a less talented team because they're they're more mistake prone already so that's uh you know that's that's my thought process behind dropping that tempo a little bit from what is suggested so this is one you know a top goal scoring uh, uh you know attack uh, with this in in testing uh, they scored 109 goals uh, in a season so that's pretty solid all right we find some space to the outside and then yeah i thought we got rid of that but all right oh just blocked oh my god that should have been a goal that should have been a goal All right, uh, we got an injury. Damn, yeah, we're going to have to pull him off. We'll bring Zek in. I was going to sub out uh, Poljak there, but uh, luckily we got the... I mean, you know, if you're going to get an injury, it's better to get it right before you make your last sub than right after, you know? <laughs> and my luck's usually in the other direction. It's usually, oh, oh, hello. Send him off. Send him off. That's a second yellow. Push forward. Gallus did have a brilliant goal from around the same area, right out in front of the goal, just outside the box. Uh, hooked it in. Beautiful goal uh, in, the, uh, in between uh, last episode and this one. Well... 
Good shot percentage. Not horribly disappointed. I would have liked more goals, but they played well. They played okay. That was the game we probably needed to win, but we don't. Would have liked to have pulled a draw there. Uh, Hill is out how five weeks. Fractured lower arm. And he's out for one to three days. All right, well, we'll be back for the season finale here in just a second against Duisburg. Uh, don't know. Don't know. All right, we'll be back. All right, we're coming back. And you notice we're going to be playing a 4-2-3-1 today. I don't know why. Just felt like it. So we're going to do it. Uh, just to try something a little different. It can't hurt. Uh, we're not quite, of course, you know, the last match of the season. We haven't played it all year. But, you know, what's the worst that could happen? Playing a little deeper with our two midfielders, four attackers. Gallard into the box, and we got a shot there. Deflected away. We'll get another corner opportunity here. And cleared out. Oh, there we go. Uh, nobody was up there. I thought he saw somebody. He did see somebody. He just said, let me kick it down there in the corner and maybe I don't have to worry about the ball for a little while. Cuomo is injured. A slight injury. Show some passion. McNally didn't like that. So, you know, McNally, who doesn't normally play a potential knee injury, let's sub him off. Uh, Vogler on the left side. Oh, there we go. Abzalov, he gets his second of the season, and we take a 1-0 lead just minutes before the half. We are going to go ahead and make that sub off. And we'll be happy getting into halftime. We're actually manhandling the game, but that is good. Excuse me. Oof. Sorry about that. Oh, come on, boys. Get creative. All right. I'm kind of liking... We may have to look at this a little bit more for next season. I haven't played a 4-2-3-1 in a while. We did play it in an earlier... Oh! Oh, my God! No, it wasn't in. It's never in when you go to goal line technology. Never. No. All right. I don't know what happened. They did something. They gave them the ball. All right, we're going to make a sub. Roos is on a yellow and 75%. Let's bring um, let's bring Stein into the middle. And then we can bring Keller in on the outside there. I think we'll be all right. No, no. What you doing, cat? I had somebody sitting on my foot. No. No, clear it away. Clear it away. Thank you. Gee whiz. I am I am tempted to maybe go with look at a 433. I may see if there I may look at a 433 tactic. Just um, had a lot of oh nice drop in pass plume. Stabbed away. Not good. That is not good. Big counterattack on Altweger down the left flank. Oh, what a save. Oof. Look like some Spider-Man fingers there. Just tink, snagged the ball. Right into the defender's legs. 
come on. It's not good. Not good ball movement at all. All right, that's a good ball out by the keeper. Good ball outside. Abzalov into the box. He's taken down. And we're watching the little TV monitor. <sighs> Going to the VAR is like the longest highlight in, uh, in, in, in the entire game. It is a penalty. Who's going to take it? Is it Hill? Last time Hill took one, remember, he played it right to the keeper. No, this is Arturo. Oh, he drills it in. Why didn't he take it last time? Third goal of the season. Very nice. We're going to give him some praise after that. And after we skip the highlight, that should be the deciding goal. We will pull three points from our... Oh, my goodness. What the hell was that? Christoph Kodorowski. Wow. Oh, he just blasted that ball. Oh, third goal of the season. Hello. So let's see, 19 to 8 on shots, 15 to 1 on target. I, I think we may be looking at this tactic a little more next year. I'm gonna I'm gonna dig into the tactics. I haven't looked at new tactics in a in a couple of seasons. We've been kind of coasting on those 442s. So I may have to may have to play around here a little bit, but that's a good way to end the season. Duisburg, not the hardest opponent, but we do bookend wins in our last five. We end up on 57 points. Not bad, right? I mean, not bad. You know, certainly over mid table. I mean, two points, but still. Bacham actually came back to win the league, really. Wow, okay. Stage-wise, so they drew their last two, a loss and two draws after they secured promotion. Wow, so they let that slip away. They let the silverware slip away. Mains gets the playoff spot. Twisted knee, he'll be out a week. Duisburg, oh, our, our win sends them down in relegation. Oops. Kodorowski, that was a hell of a goal. We get $20 million. So that's nice. Taking a look at the finances, that puts us $3 million to the good. Okay. Okay. So that's the goal is we've got to finish top half just to get back into the black uh, financially uh, to make, you know, to make profit. Because uh, we are going to end up way down. I mean, we were 15 million in the hole. So let's go ahead and move ahead a couple of days. See if we can find the uh, end of season awards. And we'll be back for that momentarily. All right, that only took a couple of days. So we're back. End of season awards. Matthias Gallus, fans player of the season with 36%. Christoph Kodorowski, our midfielder, uh, both well, both midfielders, Kodorowski had 34%. Uh, the goal of the season, Matthias Gallus against Berliner AK. And Vogler, our signing of the season, 274,000. He, and Gallus was our young player of the season. Uh, let's see, none of those are my guys. Initial budgets for next season, 16.3 million in salary. Transfer budget just under eight hundred thousand. I'm probably not going to be able to delve much into the market unless I sell some players. Club vision work within the payroll budget, uh, mid table this year. So we'll do that. Uh, we'll tell the club that our goal is mid table assertive. Yep, good. Bye. All right. Um, 
There is another email that comes up, but I don't know when. I want to say it's closer to June or July at the, you know, at the end of the official season. Um, by the way, why do they do that where, I mean, I understand with playoffs and stuff, but why, why do contracts go two months past the end of the season and the transfer window opens up technically before contracts expire? It's hard to really figure out what you've got going on financially, but Anyway, um, we're back in the positive with the twenty million. I think we're gonna have to shave. We probably need to be, if I'm being realistic from a financial standpoint, which I know football clubs are not. We've got to be probably in the twelve to thirteen million range, and that's honestly still gonna see us lose money. I mean, you know. Let's see, we so August. This was about where they were at last year. We were 2.8 million in the hole. We ended up 15. So we lost 13 million. So we'd have to be at 3 million to break even on salaries. So what I'm gonna have to do is maybe go in and look at more of my staff and see if we can get rid of some of our staff members in here. Maybe some fitness guys drop us down a little bit. Um I still have five of six coaches. So yeah, I'm gonna you know, well, I mean that's that's probably outside of player salaries. That's the only other place we can really make a dent. Ah, well, thanks for a good season. I'm really happy with the first season. It went well. Uh we are, I mean, we have you know, the season's not over yet, but we're sitting almost on three star. So we're doing good here. Uh, we've got knowledge in Austria. Germany is building up here. And, uh, yeah, so we'll be back with uh, Union Berlin, barring anything weird that happens. But we'll be back with uh, another season with these guys. So uh, we'll see you next episode for the kickoff of a new season, some transfer news, and see how crazy I get. Thank you very much. Hit the like button, subscribe, and we will see you. Bye. Bye. <laughs>